a woman the other day asked me, an older lady, 85 years old, said, uh, she said, I've seen a lot. She said, I've been to church all my life. She said, let me ask you a question. You being a minister, she said, I'm not talking about you or your church or anybody in particular. She said, what has happened to our ministers? That was her question. She said, what has happened to our ministers? She said, when I was uh, growing up in the church and I was real young, she said, I heard about Christ. She said, I heard about Jesus. I've heard of how he died. I've heard of how he rose. She said, and I heard about hell. She said, I heard about the lake of fire. She said, I heard those things growing up. She said, I'm 85 years old now. She said, what's happened to our ministers? You hear all kinds of things, Brother Earl. No longer do people want to tell you the truth, do they? Why? Because it hurts too much. But I can tell you exactly, just as these brothers that got up here tonight, and I feel that God has blessed them with the words to say that they don't care who it goes out to. Do we, brothers? We don't care. Why? Because we don't know. We don't know where it goes. We don't know who it's going to touch. We don't know what it's for. But what are we to do? Just as God has called us in our calling, then we need to abide in that calling. If it's to preach the gospel, then we should stand with great boldness, understanding who it is that has called us, and stand boldly on the word of God, Amen. proclaiming the truth of Jesus, of being the way, the truth, and the life, and no other way. Uh, uh, preach it for what it is. I uh, uh, preach Christ crucified, uh, and, 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 and being the way, and preach hell for what it is. Amen. That's all we do is preach it. We preach, we stand, and we proclaim exactly what God gives us to preach. Not of enticing words of man's wisdom because we don't know what's needed. So tonight, this is how we stand. We stand on Jesus being the way. Right, Brother Jimmy? That's how we stand. No other way. You preached about how uh, uh, that Thomas stood in the room and all that how that he said, I'm not going to believe unless I can take my fingers and put them in his hand. Uh, unless I can take my hand and thrust it in his side. Uh, uh, but brother, what did he tell him? Uh, he said, because you have seen. Uh, uh, he said, bless you because you have seen. Uh, he said, but you believe. Uh, uh, but yet, uh, he said, because. He said, yet those who have not seen, uh, 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 they are blessed. Why? Uh, because they believe believe. Uh, what do they believe Brother Earl? Uh, they believe that uh, 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 Jesus Christ uh, has rose from the grave. Amen. Uh, uh, that's what we believe. Uh, uh -huh. uh, not uh, in any other way uh, uh, but to believe and be blessed by it uh, is to believe that Jesus uh, 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 conquered death uh, uh, hell and the grave. I'm going to ask you tonight. Uh, uh, do you believe that? Uh, uh, that Jesus is the way? Uh, uh, do you uh, uh, trust in it? Uh, uh, sister, I trust in it. Uh, I believe that if I didn't believe that, I wouldn't be standing right here right now. But my whole trust is in Jesus Christ. Amen. Of Him being the way. As Him saying, it is finished. People say, well, there's going to come this and come that. Just as you brothers said about how maybe another kingdom coming down. Uh, maybe have set it up for a thousand years or so. Uh, he said what when he began to come and preach? Uh, he said the kingdom of God is at hand. Yes, isn't he? Uh, but when he told Pilate, he said, uh, he said, if my kingdom be of this world, then we would have found. Uh, but this kingdom is not of the world. Uh, but we're in a kingdom today. Uh, are you in a kingdom? Uh, I am. And uh, praise his name today. Uh, I've been born in that kingdom. A spiritual kingdom. So we preach Christ crucified. It's being the way. Do you believe it? That's where it's at. People say, well, I believe in Christ. How could you say you believe in Christ and sit in your seat and do nothing about it? That's right. How can you say, you can't. I believe in God I believe he created the heavens and the earth. I've had people tell me that. It's, yes, I believe that. I believe his son was named Jesus. Yeah, I believe he, he rose from the, the... The devil believes too, don't he? Yeah, and he trembles at it. 
But we need to take it a little further. Repentance is required in the hands of all men. That's right. Mm-hmm. Do you believe today? Repent and believe the gospel. Don't understand how somebody can say, I believe that. I believe every word of that. Then get up and leave. No one. No one. That they've not trusted in it. No. They've not trusted in it. Put your treasures in heaven. How do you put them in heaven? You've got to start with Christ. Mm-hmm. You've got to start with salvation. You get that. You get that and everything else is just, well, one thing, it ain't going to matter. No. Whether you get it or not, it don't matter. Once you've got Christ, you're satisfied. That's the only thing in this life that will satisfy. How sad will it be to hear words, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. How sad will that be? Not that I knew you once and then you fell away, but I never knew you.